This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. I'm I'm standing here with who am I standing here with? Cheyenne. Cheyenne? Cheyenne? Yes. Um and we're in we're in Colorado. Uh, and uh, I've been seeing a lot of open carry uh, while I'm visiting Colorado Springs, Hi. and uh, you're no exception today. You got a uh, what do you got there? Uh, Walter PK380. Okay, and uh, how long would you say you've been open carrying? Um, when did we? I think 2010, 2011. Is that when we got the class? Yeah. So it's been a couple of years now. So what, to what extent do you get grief, you know, from authorities or from store owners and so forth? Out here, never really. Um, no one's ever really said anything to me about it. Um, someone's asked my husband, you know, to leave the theater. But like I said, with the shooting in Aurora, you kind of expected that. Right. Um, to, to what extent would you say that there is a difference between the way people treat open carry here in Colorado Springs as opposed to Denver? Denver, as far as I know, you're not allowed to open carry within the city limits, so they see it, someone's probably going to freak out a little bit. What would you say is, like, is, like, is your, your main purpose in doing it? Um, just for protection. I'm by myself, especially. Um, my husband and I do it just because we're from Orlando, Florida. Much higher crime rate. Um, we're used to that being a very common thing, getting mugged, attacked. So, for our own safety. Uh, I was just, uh, you know, uh, out out here, you know, shopping, and I and I, uh, I just saw you here in the store, you know, in a major chain store, uh, wandering from point A to point B with that firearm on, yeah. and uh, you know, I, I carry two, but I tend to do it a little bit more concealed. I, I, have, I have open carried in Colorado in the past, but I just kind of, I kind of moved my focus to New Hampshire, and um, how, how often do you see other people open carrying in Colorado Springs? We see it quite a bit. Um, I think enough that we don't really notice it. We don't really pay attention to it when it happens with other people. Um, but every once in a while someone will come up and ask. They're not usually upset. They just ask, you know, do you have to have a permit to open carry? Is it for your job? You know, there's a lot of people who don't realize you can, but no one that's ever been, like, upset about it or obviously offended, so... Right. Um, and how much? And your your husband open carries too, correct? Yes. How much? Uh, how much grief does he get? How often does he get interrupted or uh, talked um, to by the police? Or never by the police. He's been asked once um, to leave it in the car. We went to a movie theater, um, but again, that wasn't long after the shootings in Aurora. Other than that, um, one person once at a Walmart walked by and asked their wife, you know, why does he need that? Yeah. Other than that, that's been it. No one's given us any trouble. Have you had any sense that I don't know? Uh, I don't know if you open carried before before the Aurora situation and the other shootings, but um, have you had any sense that your treatment has changed since the since the Batman shooting? Um, just in the theaters, we've noticed that. So I mean, I wondered if they had posted anything about it because we comply with any posted signs on any establishments, but. Other than that, that was about it. Just the one incident. And have you have you guys ever considered moving to New Hampshire for even more gun freedom? <laughs> no, <laughs> we really like it here in Colorado Springs a lot. Um, the guns really aren't a problem for us as long as I can at least have it in my house, so I know I'm safe when I'm with my kids. Yeah, you've been affected at all by the law changes or the, the stricter laws? Um, just as far as magazine size, what you're allowed to carry there. I think that was about it. But mine doesn't really have an extended magazine. You can't find it for my gun, so. Doesn't right. bother me. <laughs> awesome. So, I'm still saying this is correct. Cheyenne? Yes. And just like everything in the area. <laughs> all right. Well, Cheyenne, I much appreciate your time and I much appreciate your open carry. Thank you. See you on the Ridley Report. Bye. All right. <laughs>